If you want to improve your run form, this is something you have to know first because if you don't know it, it's going to be really frustrating. Hi everyone, Steve Gons, a physical therapist with Run Smart. Super excited. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to the launch of Need for Speed, which is a four week boot camp where we help you improve your run form for one goal, or actually two goals, which is faster running and more control of your pace. So if you're a runner who struggles with shuffling, you struggle with fading out really hard at the end of a race, this program is for you and uh, we're gonna teach you how to make that change happen. Now what I want to talk about is when you are looking at improving your run form, a lot of runners get in trouble in a couple ways. And mainly it's because when, like for example, for Need for Speed, we teach runners how to open their stride so when they're driving forward they can open that front leg up and grab more ground because you want to push off and go as far as possible down the road. And when you shuffle, when you scuff your feet, when you don't pick your feet up, you really limit your top end potential how fast you can run. So what you want to do is you want to start transitioning to a more efficient run form. You want to transition to a form that allows you to open that stride up. And now it's key, it's not, it's open it up. It's not over stride. Uh, you don't want to do that because that's certainly going to be counterproductive. But one of the things I see is we'll have a runner go out and they'll start to make changes in their run form. And they'll say like, oh, this is more difficult. It feels I'm more tired this way. It doesn't feel more efficient. And I've talked about this in the past. When you are struggling and you are changing anything in your run form, it's, it's going to feel awkward, uncomfortable, difficult to do at first because you're not used to doing it. So imagine, like the analogy I always use is if you were to go and brush your teeth with the opposite hand. So for me, it's my left hand and I brush my teeth with my left hand. It looks like my right, but it's my left. Um, it's going to feel really awkward. I have toothpaste everywhere. I'm going to probably strain my neck in the process. And it's not that it's wrong that I'm brushing my teeth with my left hand. It's just that I'm bad at it because I don't practice it. It feels less efficient. So the trouble is, is like a lot of runners will start making changes and they get frustrated because it feels awkward. It feels slower. It feels more exhausting. But all you're doing at this point is you're rewiring bad habits and rewiring the bad habits is what needs to be done. So we prefer to have a lot of toggling when you're trying to learn new form. Expect to be tired and, and feel awkward, but if you toggle back and forth between the old and the new, it allows your body to learn a little bit and then back back off. Learn a little bit and back off. We use this a lot in Need for Speed. Um, the link's in the post, or you just go to openmystride.com, but we do these audio runs, right? So I have, if this is kind of bad because you have to listen to me some more, but it's a recorded version where you pop me in your ear, you go for your run, and I walk you through it in the Need for Speed program. And what I'm going to do with you is I have you do a lot of, okay, we're going to drive your knee, okay, 30 seconds is up, go ahead and pull back. And you do a lot of toggling with this type of running, and what that does is it allows you to learn, train your muscles, feel the differences and changes, but the toggling is really important and can help you build on it. The worst thing you could do, which I see a lot of runners do, is I'm supposed to run like this. They go out and do it for an entire run. They either end up hurt because they changed it too quickly, they end up in, um, frustrated because it feels more tiring, or they just don't get it right and it's all over the board and it's a mess. So just take your time with it, be consistent, and ease into it. Need for Speed is a four week program. Our earlier program is Midfoot Project. That's a five week program. A lot of our runners are taking four to eight weeks to complete these changes, but once you do, it's awesome. Like the great thing about Need for Speed is that, or learning to open your stride, which is what we teach, is that you can work on it while you're running so you don't have to add more, but you actually get faster by um, tweaking and being more efficient. So a lot of runners try to get faster by training harder, running more miles, adding speed work. This gets you faster by just learning how to be more efficient and stronger in your runs. We teach you how to run from your core and your glutes, um, and that's really important. So don't get too frustrated. Toggle on and off. Know that it's going to feel awkward. That's important. And if you want our help, check out openmystride.com or just go to the link in this post and check it out. Depending on when you watch, this program's either closing or the price is going up. Uh, so hopefully you can join us and uh, go try some out some uh, knee drive and opening your stride, guys. All right, have a great day. Bye.